Welcome to PGA Tour 2K23. My name's John McCarthy, and I am packing all the golf lessons. So I invite you to use these lessons to get you swinging that club like a pro and getting that little white ball around the course as best you can. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, push and hold the left mouse button and pull back. When your golfer reaches the top of their backswing, push the mouse forward to swing. Make sure you keep that button down throughout the swing. That was well done. After each shot, you will get feedback about your accuracy in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe. And you need to keep your swing within that white stripe if you want your shot to be accurate. Now let's try another swing and remember to keep it within that white stripe. Hmm, let's uh, just go ahead and give that another try. Hmm, not quite. Let's try that again. Not quite, let's reset and try again. Good job, that's what we're looking for. And you're also gonna receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top. 
of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're gonna reduce the power of your shot. If you do it too late, you're gonna add power, but increase the difficulty. Good job on that one. Congratulations, you've got the basics down. Okay, this is where we part ways and all that's left for you is to choose a difficulty level and then you can go ahead and customize your golfer in the My Player menu if you feel like it. If not, all good as well. We'll see you out there on the links real soon. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Bluff Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, great to be with you guys. Now this group will be one to watch today. Lots of chatter on social media leading up to this pairing. We have a rookie on tour who has set very specific goals for themselves and their first one is to beat their playing partner this week. Love it, Henny. This will make for an extra layer of excitement. It always adds a bit more drama to an event when we can follow a competition within a competition. Can't wait to see what happens in our feature group throughout this tournament. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Second shot here on the first. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That line was looking good, wasn't it? Just three feet to the cup. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for second. One of our on-course reporters, John McCarthy, has been out surveying the scene here in preparation for today's broadcast. John, what are some of the things the players will be looking out for today at Craggy Heights? Well, look, I think one of the first things the players are going to be looking at uh, is really, literally, the shapes of these fairways. 
They are laid out in a way that often there are little pockets of fairway that the players can hit to. And uh, if they do end up safe, they can really open up options on their approach shots, but uh, they're going to have to be confident in their swing to reap those rewards. Another thing to watch for are holes like the fifth, where the fairway narrows significantly the further out you hit your tee shot. There's also holes like the par 4 17th, where you can drive the green, yes, but there is a lot of danger in the form of water and sand around the green to contend with. So it's very much a risk-reward course. Can't wait to just sit back and watch how these professionals take this course on. Should be a fun week here at Craigie Heights. Game with the nine iron, I think. And he's hit that inside the range. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Oh, just missed. Opportunity to make their par. Well hold. Let's move on. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Come on, ball. Come on. Yeah, that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. Excellent job. It's time for a one-shotter. Going with the six iron here. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. What a disappointment. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Oh my, how about that for a par? And now this is why you can never get comfortable even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do, they mean business. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Going with the five iron here. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the fifth. 